Welcome to another video. So the volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of four centimeter cubed per minute. We're asked to find the rate at which the surface area is increasing. Now, this is the topic called related rate and every question in this section behaves the same way. You'll be given two things or three things, but usually you'll be given two things that are changing. You'll be given the rate at which one of them is changing and asked to find the rate at which the other is changing. Sometimes you're not explicitly given, but you can find it easily from the information provided. And we, but this one was clearly given that the volume is changing at the rate of four centimeter cubed per minute. We're asked to find the rate at which the area of the cube is changing. Now remember that a cube has six faces so you have to find the area of each of the faces and add them all together so what do you need for this and for this question you need to know how to compute the volume of a cube you need to know how to compute the surface area of a cube and you need to know how to do differentiation and you'll be able to answer the question let's get into the video So the first thing you need to do is compute the volume of a cube. We don't know what the sides are, so I just represented the side because it's a cube, so all the sides are the same. So the volume of a cube is x cubed, we know that. It's gonna be length times width times height, right? This is also x and which else? We have, this is also x. So everything is x, x centimeters, x centimeters. So this is gonna be x cubed, centimeter cubed. What is the surface area of a cube? Well, it is the sum of all the six faces and the area of each side is just length times breadth. So you're gonna get x squared on each occasion, and, but there are six of them, so it's gonna be six x squared, right? x squared, x squared, x squared, six of them. So we're gonna say that the area, I'm just gonna say area of cube will be equal to six x squared. Okay, centimeters squared. So the question is telling us to connect what is between the change in the volume and the change in the area. So let's assume we don't know. Listen, how do you connect both of them? What formula connects area and volume? We don't know, but we have to create the formula, right? So, and how do you connect it? Because you know that both of them contain X, Use x as the anchor and use it to connect both of them. So see what I'm going to do. I'm going to say v is equal to x cubed. That means that x is equal to the cube root of v. I have found a representation for x. You do the same thing for area. You say that a is equal to 6x squared. That implies if I make x the subject, it's gonna be x will be equal to the square root of, if I divide this by six, it's gonna be a over six. So as you can see, I have written x in two different ways, one in terms of v, one in terms of a. So all you have to do is say, since x equals x, this must be equal to this. And we don't do plus or minus here because we don't care, because the side of a cube must be positive. So what do we do next? Connect the equations. Say that the cube root of v must be equal to the square root of a over six. Okay, now this don't, they don't look really nice. What can we do? Get rid of the cube root and the square root. Well, how to get rid of cube root and square root at the same time is to use the sixth power, which is the LCM of 3 and 2, right? Okay, so we're going to raise both sides to the sixth power so that the cube root of V raised to power 6 can be V to the 1 third to the 6 equals A over 6 to the 1 half to the sixth power. So what do you have here? You have V squared is equal to A over 6 cubed which is the same thing as a cubed over 
6 times 6 times 6 is going to be 216. If you cross multiply, you end up with a cubed is equal to 216v squared. That's what we need. This is the ultimate goal. Our goal is to say that dA dV or dt rather, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for dA dt, the rate at which the area is changing. dA dt, we don't know. But we know that dA dt is equal to dA dV times dV dt. This is a universal thing you want to always do whenever you do related rate. Relate the rates. <laughs> so, if you want to differentiate this with respect to V, you're differentiating A with respect to V, there are two ways you can do it. You can isolate A, but then you're going to have the cube root on this side, which I don't think it's bad. Actually, let's isolate A. So we here, we're going to have A is equal to the cube root of 216 times the cube root of V squared. Well, it, we end up with A equals, we know the cube root of 216 is 6. And this is going to be the cube root of V squared, which is going to be V to the 2 thirds. Okay, so what's dA dV? Oh, that's even easier than I thought. dA dV is going to be, if you multiply 2 thirds by 6, you're going to end up with 4. And V raised to power minus 1 over Three. That's the cube root, one over the cube root of the volume. Come on, what's the cube root of volume? <laughs> Let's even say you computed the volume, okay? The volume is x cubed. Wow, this is cool. Let's clean this up actually. Let's start substituting because we're done. But we know that this is 4 times, because this is going to be 1 over the cube root of the volume. But we said the volume is x cubed x cubed. Nice. So this is basically 1 over the cube root of x cubed, which is 4 times 1 over x, which is 4 over x. Nice. Okay, so we've gotten our dA dV. Let's go back here and use our formula. We know now that dA dt is equal to dA dV, which is 4 over x, multiplied by dV dt. What's dV dt? Uh, it's 4. No way, 4 centimeter cubed per minute. And what did we say x was at this point when x is equal to 3? That's what the question told us, x equals 3. So instead of you computing all this volume at the beginning, just wait until you get to the end, because I only need to use x once. So what's my answer? x equals 3 means my dA dt is 4 times 4, that's 16 over 3 centimeters squared per minute. This is the rate at which the surface area is changing. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.